Welcome back to Rad BMX Builds. Today's an exciting day. We are now getting a new bike in partnership with Monza Bike Company. Really excited about this bike. It's going to be their 26 inch version and we're going to do a full custom build on that. It is out for delivery right now and UPS is bringing it here. As soon as it shows up, we're gonna do an unboxing, assembly and test ride of that bike. So stay tuned and I uh, hope you're excited about this build as I am. All right, here it is, the Monza 26-inch bike, which they had sponsored me to build for them. A uh, full custom build. So the box just came by UPS. I haven't opened it up or anything yet. And we're going to do that together, pull this bike out, do an assembly, take it on a test ride. So let's open this box and check it out. Got some custom Monza pads, the traditional Monza pads, and another set of custom, kind of like graffiti with skulls and crossbones. Gold caged pedals, chrome straight seat post, padded seat, a 26 inch black high flanged hub wheel with gum wall sides and comp three type knobby tires. Pretty sweet. Got front brake cable, high tall uh, cruiser bars, die comp lever, and some three piece cranks with gold chain ring. Love the gold, or I'm sorry, love the chrome frame, gold die comp rear V brake, the high flange hub on the back of this. Cable guides. All right, you can see the dropouts, pretty thick, um, pretty strong looking. Really like the chrome. You don't see a lot of chrome 26 inch bikes. So I'm excited to get this together. Let's put you up on the tripod and then uh, we'll go ahead and start our assembly. Then we'll take this thing on a test ride. Okay, final assembly is done, and let's do a quick look over on the bike. I ensured that all of the nuts and bolts are tightened, the brakes are adjusted, and I have it set up, uh, the bars and seat, the height and distance that I would want them. I recommend that anytime you put a bike together, take the time to make sure that it's safe and put together properly and everything's tightened down. If you don't know what you're doing, take it to a bike shop, take it to a professional that knows how to do that. Let's go over the bike real quick. 
So you can see the higher bars that I'm a big fan of. I don't like the really low cruiser bars. I like these bars a lot. I like the die comp levers. The grips are real soft. Love the chrome. And really like the overall appearance of the bike. I like the components that come on it. Three piece cranks with the gold chain ring and gold uh, pedals. The gold brakes. I know they make these in gold. Uh, that would be a pretty cool added on touch, but we'll talk about that later. So there's the overall assembly of the bike. And I'm pretty impressed with the overall appearance of it and the way that it looks. You can tell that Monza took a lot of time in making sure that this bike looked like a bike from the 80s. So the geometry is probably a little bit different. The sealed bearings are different, but when you look at this, the tubes are about the same diameter as you would have found in the 80s cruisers. And the overall appearance is pretty spot on with what you'd find in the 80s cruisers. It's definitely not trying to be 80s, but it's trying to maybe bring those looks back with the modern amenities that we have on bikes today. So the next thing to do is Go ride it. So let's test this thing out, see what it's like under power, take it over to the beach trail and put in a few uh, pedals and see what we think. All right, so far lightweight, low resistance, good balance, nice and quiet, smooth ride. Check it out. impression great bike to ride I really enjoy it looks really good aesthetically beautiful gives those 80s vibes with some modern technology affordable price and uh, you can never hate on chrome chrome is always cool chrome is king so if you want one of these bikes make sure you go to Monza BC dot com check out their bikes they got 24 inch and 26 inch and I don't think you're going to be very disappointed in that purchase. I think you're going to love it. It's a rad bike. So stay tuned because this is going to be a full custom build coming at you. And we're going to do one of the only bikes I've seen like this that Monza's put out. We're going to make it one of a one. The unboxing. Now, these are some of the parts that I have. Red Comp 3 type tires. I'm going to change out the chain ring for a silver 44 tooth. White chain red odyssey brake cable haro 1b plate die comp mx lever and die comp mx v brake sun tour type seat post clamp amy unitrons in red and white and then we're going to go full red and white checker with flight donuts flight pads and this is a viscount custom made uh red and white checkered seat so this bike is going to undergo a transformation from a cool modern day cruiser to a retro race 80s looking bike. This is going to be epic. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, we're going to start taking parts and components off of this bike. I'm going to go ahead and start with the seat, which I've already loosened up. So we're just going to take that off and then all of the gold components like the brakes, uh, the pedals down here and the chain ring, that's all going to come off. And then I'm going to take the wheels off of it so I can swap out for the red tires. So as you know, I'm going to be swapping out the lever and these grips. So I'm going to have to get these grips off these bars. By the way, I want to make a note that these bars are epic. Nice, wide, tall, race cruiser type bars, not the low cruiser bars that you see on a lot of bikes right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started taking some parts off 
and then we'll go ahead and show some of them coming on to the bike and uh, what it's going to start to look like as we put those parts on. So we've gotten the bike pretty much broken down. I'll give you a quick little review of what we've done so far. Bars are off, wheels are off, the pedals and chain ring are off, seat post clamp is off, and the V-brakes are off. Those are all gonna be replaced. So this bike's pretty much broken down to the simplest form. We're also gonna work on removing the decals and I have something up my sleeve for those. Hopefully it comes out in time for this video. But I'm going, I'm just telling you, tell you what it is. I'm going to make a Monza decal in red for this frame to try to make these colors all tie in together. And we'll see how that turns out. I have a buddy of mine that uh, I'm going to lean on pretty heavily to see if he can pull that off for us. So now I'm going to go ahead and start grabbing some of these parts and putting them on the Monza. And we can see what that looks like together. Let's go over some of the progress that we made. So we have the seat on and the new seat post clamp, the Diacomp MX brakes, the V brakes, and I've also added the red brake line, the pads, the grips with the donuts. You can see the number plate, the Haro 1B series plate, red brake line, you can see it a little better there. And that's about where we're at so far. I think it's probably time to get the tires and pull them off the old wheels and put the new ones on. So these red ones here are gonna go on the rims that came on the bike, which are a 26 inch 
black high flange wheel, which is really nice. Uh, I just think the red tires are gonna pop on there. So let's go ahead and peel the old ones off and we'll get the new ones on. All right, behind me, we've got the tires mounted onto the wheels. Let's take a look and see what they look like. I think the red and black look really good together. I went ahead and threw on some white dice valve stem caps. I think the red, white, black, it's gonna tie all together well. And I think those tires are definitely an upgrade. Same type of tire, just a better look. Add that little pop of color and I think it's gonna make it stand out nicely. Let's go ahead and get them thrown on the bike. Okay, here it is, the finished, completed 26 inch Monza. Only thing it's lacking are maybe some decals, but let's go over it real quick. Here it is finished, the brand new 26 inch Monza custom build by Rad BMX Builds, me. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what I've done. You can see the Amy Unitron grips with flight donuts, Dicomp MX2 levers with an Odyssey slick brake line, Haro 1B series plate, flight pads in red and white checkered, it's a three-piece pad set. And then a custom Viscount seat like you would see on the GTs, covered in red and white checker. Suntour type seat post clamp. Dicomp MX2 V-brake in the back. The white and chrome chain. White valve stem caps. White pedals. Changed out the chain ring just to match the crank set. Got rid of the decals. Probably going to add some red ones. And the red tires, of course, Comp 3 type. So there she is, folks, the 26 inch Monza race bike, 80s inspired. And we're going to go ahead and get this out in the light, get some riding footage, and show you what this thing looks like out on the beach. Extremely great bike, really fun to work on, easy to put together, anybody can do it. Just go buy the components, have a vision, pick a color that you like, and build the bike. It's a lot of fun, great company, great product. I highly recommend getting one of these. I'm going to try to get one for myself and do another build. And uh, if you want to check that out, make sure you're following the Instagram at rad underscore bmx underscore builds. All my most current stuff will be on there, but if you like the videos and the content that you see, hit the subscribe button because we post videos every Friday. So please subscribe to this channel. If you're a long time lurker, subscribing helps this channel grow. So make sure you hit the thumbs up that you like it and subscribe.